is a uh, Monday. Yeah, wet and wild Monday, July 31st, 2023. Uh, July, going to finish up with uh, a bit of a bang. And, uh, well, that will hang around uh, into uh, the first day or two of August as well. We'll, uh, we'll update the weather for you, keep you informed what's going on. Uh, we can uh, let you know, yeah, there uh, have been some issues, not so much with rain, but uh, with winds creating some havoc. And uh, winds last night, uh, early this morning, up to uh, 66 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah that uh, it typically will present a little bit of a problem. But uh, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll tell you about that. So what else is going on around the world on this date in 1971? Apollo 15 astronauts David Scott and James Irwin became the first men to ride in a vehicle on the moon. Yeah, the two men spent two hours traveling five miles on the moon's surface in their lunar dune buggy. Five miles in two hours? Yeah, must have been some pretty heavy traffic, huh? Yeah. And, uh, oh, birthdays. Yeah, we've got uh, birthdays to celebrate today. And uh, let's find our, our big shot birthday list. And I know it's here. I know it's here somewhere. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Actor Don Murray, 94. Jazz guitarist Kenny Burrell, 92. Actor Susan Flannery is 84. Actor France Noyen, 84. Singer Lobo, 80. Actor Geraldine Chaplin is 79. Gary Lewis of Gary Lewis, the Playboys, 78. Actor Lane Davies, 73. Actor Barry Van Dyke is 72. Actor Alan Autry is 71. Actor James Reed, 70. Actor Michael Bine, 67. Actor Dirk Blocker is 66. That's uh, Haas's little boy. Dan Blocker's little boy, Dirk. Drummer Bill Perry of R.E.M., 65. Actor Wesley Snipes, 61. Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling, 58. Actor Dean Cain, 57. Actor Jim Trufrost, 57, actor Lauren Dean, 54, actor Eve Best, 52, actor Annie Parise is 48, actor Robert Telfer, 46, actor B.J. Novak, 44, and actor Rico Rodriguez is 25. Okay, there you go. Local birthdays, got them coming up. Tuning into the baseball game, monitoring the incoming storm, catching your favorite talk show. These are just a few of the reasons more than 80 million Americans depend on AM radio each month. And did you know AM radio is the backbone of the emergency alert system, keeping us safe in dangerous times? It's reliable, free, and public safety depends on it. Text AM to 52886 and tell Congress we need AM radio in cars. This message furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters. Let's say happy birthday to... Rosalba Zamaripa, Angel Maldonado, Maritza Banuelos, Daniel Castrita, Deborah Torres, Mary Moreno, Frank Marquez Jr., Javier Cano, Destiny Ramos, Christy Rivera, Devin Cazares, Julia Higginbotham, Sid Patel, Lori Campos, Miriam Felix, Rosa Gangora, Eddie Cota, Gabby Rangel, Kelly Franco, Aiden Alfredo Cortez, John Renison, and Eduardo Benitez. Happy birthday from KXO. And it is the final day of July. Gene, are you ready for August? Uh, whether we're ready or not. It will happen. happen. Yeah, guaranteed. Yes. Okie dokie. And, uh, you know, for those that are new to the valley again, this is the time of year we do start to get a little bit of moisture, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Not a lot. Not a lot, but a little bit. Yeah, it goes a long way. So. I suppose. We've got news, lots of things to catch up on. So uh, we're going to start with a look at World in California news headlines right now. And uh, that is all brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. Lock your year-round comfort specialist.
CBS News Brief. A Mar-a-Lago employee is expected to plead not guilty any minute now in the classified documents case. CBS is Scott McFarland. According to the superseding indictment, the Oliveira attempted to delete security video that potentially showed the movement of boxes and classified records. The judge in a Georgia grand jury investigation has rejected Donald Trump's bid to disqualify the lead prosecutor and block any indictment stemming from the case. Health officials say nations still aren't doing enough to curb tobacco use. CBS is Alexander The United States is among the countries not to implement some key policies the WHO has called for worldwide, like protecting all residents from secondhand smoke in all indoor public places and sweeping bans on advertisements. New poll finds we're less confident in the U.S. military. CBS's Cammie McCormick. Republicans especially support the military, but even their numbers have fallen down more than 20 percent in the last three years. CBS News Brief. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Become a lock air conditioner. VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-LOCKE. That's 760-93-LOCKE. Lock VIPs receive discounted service and maintenance, discounted repairs, and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 760-93-LOCKE. That's 760 760-9- 93 L O C K E Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over 40 years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number 696216. California headline news is shooting on the eastbound 10 freeway in Los Angeles, temporarily shutting down the lanes there during rush hour. One person transported in undisclosed condition. No word yet from investigators about where those shots came from or why they were fired. Police suspect up to 11 people in the fatal beating of a 32-year-old security guard outside of a Hollywood nightclub early Sunday morning. The victim's friends and co-workers tell Eyewitness News 7 in Los Angeles they just can't believe it. He got a life today. He got two kids to go home to. Now he can't even see his kids no more. Police are asking for any cell phone recordings of the incident to assist in their investigation. And the investigation continues into yesterday's plane crash that killed three people and caused an aircraft hangar to go up in flames in San Bernardino County. From a witness statement, the plane was taking off when uh, it crashed. Um, it, when it crashed, it slid into uh, the Ontario Police Department hangar. Happened at Cable Airport. No word yet on a cause or the identities of the victims. I'm John Gilliland, and this is California Headline News. World in California news headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. Lock, your year-round comfort specialist. For the ones who know safety isn't a catchphrase, it's a culture. And the ones who help make sure everyone makes it home safe. For the safety-minded who watch everyone's backs, Granger offers supplies and solutions for every industry, as well as safety assessments and training to keep your facility safe and your people safer. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Wouldn't it be great if life came with a remote control? You know, you could hit pause when you needed to, or hit rewind, like that time you knocked down that wasp's nest. Well, life doesn't always give you time to change the outcome, but pre-diabetes does. With early diagnosis and a few healthy changes, you can stop pre-diabetes before it leads to type 2 diabetes. To learn your risk, take the one-minute test today at doihaveprediabetes.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its pre-diabetes awareness partners. And it's page one of the local news. Page one is service of El Centro Motors, Quick Lane, Tire and Auto Centers, three locations in the Valley at the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 and Julia Drive, at the Imperial Valley Mall, and at El Centro Motors. Taking a look at the latest in uh, local news uh, for a Monday morning, a driver was arrested after a Saturday night uh, accident. A deputy sheriff passing by the reported accident at 4th and Countryside Drive shortly after 10 p.m. Saturday night. A car ran into a wall at the intersection. The street sign was also knocked down. The driver, a 23-year-old man, was transported to El Centro Regional Medical Center for treatment of injuries received in the crash. He was cited and released for driving under the influence. The Imperial Irrigation District uh, Board of Directors will hold a special meeting today 
The meeting will convene in closed session at 8 a.m. in the IID Auditorium in El Centro. There is one item on the agenda, and that is listed simply as public employment title general manager. KXO News Time 742. How about the next time you need service on your car? We come to you. Hi, this is Mike Allison for El Centro Motors and Quick Lane. Our mobile service vans are an extension of our dealership service lane. We will come to you for an oil change, filters, brakes, batteries, tire rotation, and so much more. Hey, while your car is just sitting there at work, we'll take care of your service needs. And it doesn't cost any extra. Schedule your appointment now at ElCentroMotors.net. El Centro Motors mobile service vans. What a great idea. Well, in other local news, a... Another car was uh, burglarized. El Centro Police are investigating uh, the break-in. The burglary was reported Thursday afternoon. An SUV parked in the El Centro Regional Medical Center parking lot had a window smashed and a purse taken. The purse contained cash as well as a number of other items. Over the last several weeks, there have been a rash of vehicle uh, break-ins with similar characteristics in this area of El Centro. A suspect is being charged with uh, several counts. Imperial County uh, District Attorney's Office says they are looking for more information on the suspect. Philip Warren Carter was arrested uh, by the County Sheriff's Office. The DA's office has charged him with multiple charges or counts of uh, violent sexual assault. Sheriff's investigators and the district attorney's office are seeking any additional information about the suspect in furtherance of the ongoing investigation. They are asking for anyone who has information about Carter to please come forward either directly or anonymously they should contact uh, investigator Santiago at the Sheriff's Investigation Division. That concludes this edition of Local News. Page two coming up. Page one of the Local News, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers, three physical locations in the Valley to serve you, and of course their mobile service, it goes where you are. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. Stop by your local grocery outlet to participate in our annual Independence from Hunger Drive. This is a great way to support your local food organizations. So take part in our Give 5, Get 5 program. Donate $5 and get a $5 coupon for a future visit. Donations made in-store stay in your local community. Join us in our fight against hunger by visiting your local grocery outlet today. Going on now through the end of July. Grocery outlet, bargain market. Well, page two of the local news and weather served by K-Sushi Bar and Grill in Imperial. Great Japanese food. They specialize in sushi rolls. 50 different varieties of sushi rolls, one for every state. Gene, uh, just to kind of give you a little bit of an update. Wind gusts peaked at 66 miles an hour at the airport at about 2.30 this morning. A uh, number of trees down, power lines down. We have uh, information a roof was uh, blown off. Scattered power outages throughout uh, the valley. And, uh, well, we understand there's also a haystack fire in the area of 98 and Bonds Corner Road. And um, I don't think this was necessarily weather related, but a water line out in the area of 11th and J in the city of Imperial, uh, Imperial crews working overnight on that. So uh, that, that just kind of wraps things up. It certainly does. Uh, charges uh, for a suspect include murder, the primary hearing for Jose Luis Revelo uh, ended uh, this week. It ended with the judge determining there was enough uh, evidence to bind him over for trial. Revelo is uh, suspected in the 2022 shooting death of Jonathan uh, Hill. Ravello will be arraigned on the charges on August 3rd. He remains in jail with bail set at $1 million. Uh, October of uh, last year, El Centro Police responded to a call of shots fired. The officers arrived at the Phoenix Bar on South 4th Street. 
They found 29-year-old Jonathan Hill suffering from a gunshot wound. The victim was transported to El Centro Regional Medical Center, where he passed away from his injuries. Ravello was uh, arrested as a suspect in the shooting. Murder in the city of Yuma. The sheriff's office is investigating a Sunday morning murder. Deputies responded to the 3200 block of West 5th Street about 7.30 a.m. Sunday. An 18-year-old victim was uh, located, the apparent victim of a homicide. The Yuma County Sheriff's Office uh, Criminal Investigations Bureau responded to the scene and assumed the investigation. The victim was identified as Amarion uh, Valenzuela of Yuma. No other information is available at this time. We'll be back with a look at the weather. K Sushi Bar and Grill in Imperial is serving the best Japanese cuisine in the Imperial Valley. The menu is full of outstanding entrees. Yes, there's something for everyone at K Sushi, including for the kids. K Sushi offers you 50 different sushi rolls. They're named after our 50 states. And there's fresh sushi and sashimi, plus beer, wine, and sake. And oh, I forgot to mention, they also have teriyaki chicken or beef, rice and noodles. K Sushi Bar and Grill in Imperial. They're open daily from 11 a.m. till 9 p.m. K Sushi also caters and welcomes big groups anytime. Call 760-355-4440. That's 355-4444. Your takeout. Here's Carol Buckley with a weather update. The National Weather Service says an upper-level weather disturbance will continue to impact the region today with adequate monsoon moisture bringing good chances for showers and thunderstorms. While strong gusty winds and dense blowing dust will be the primary weather hazards, some locations could experience heavy rainfall. This wetter pattern will be short-lived as abnormally dry conditions are expected to return during the latter half of the week. After near normal temperatures through tomorrow, the latter half of the week will see a modest warming trend with highs once again topping 110 degrees over much of the Imperial and Yuma Valleys by Friday. 111 our high yesterday, 81 the overnight low. Wind gusts peaked at 66 miles an hour at 2.30 this morning. Today, showers and thunderstorms are likely mainly before 3 p.m. It'll be mostly cloudy with a high near 105. Heat index values as high as 110. Look for east winds 10 to 15 miles an hour, gusting as high as 25 miles an hour. There is a 60% chance of precipitation. New rainfall amounts of less than a tenth of an inch, except higher amounts possible in thunderstorms. Tonight, a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms mainly before midnight. It'll be partly cloudy with a low around 85. West-southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour becoming east-southeast after midnight. Tomorrow, a slight chance of showers, then showers and possibly a thunderstorm after noon. Look for partly sunny skies with a high near 106. South wind about 10 miles an hour becoming northwest in the afternoon there is a 60 percent chance of precipitation tomorrow and again new rainfall amounts of less than a tenth of an inch except higher amounts possible in thunderstorms we have 84 degrees downtown el centro 55 percent relative humidity wind out of the south southeast at uh, three miles an hour gusting up to 10 miles an hour basically just trace amounts of precipitation accompanying the thunder and lightning storms local news page two served by k sushi bar and grill in imperial check out the daily lunch specials the dinner menu featuring 16 different entrees k sushi bar and grill just off highway 86 in imperial KXO AM 1230 can help you publicize your nonprofit group's upcoming events, and we're happy to do it at no charge. To take advantage of our offer, we ask that you let us know about the event at least two weeks ahead of time. Write down the important information. You know who, what, where, when, and so on. Include a name and phone number of a contact person and mail or deliver the information to KXO, 420 Main Street, El Centro, California, 92243. Our email address is kxoamfm at kxoradio.com. The information you supply may be used as community news, public service announcements on the KXO info line, 
or on our website. If you're paying for promotion with another advertising medium, we do offer special nonprofit group rates to promote your event. KXOAM 1230 wants to work with you and your community group to make our Imperial Valley a better place. Tell us what's going on and we'll tell everyone else. KXOAM 1230, here to make a difference in the valley. It's sports time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best care. Major League Baseball action. The Padres swept the Rangers. Uh, Padres with a 5-3 win. Uh, Blake Snell picked up the uh, victory. Meanwhile, the Angels outlasted the Blue Jays 3-2 in 10 innings. The Braves beat the Brewers 8-6. Pirates uh, got by the Phillies 6-4 in 10. Marlins dumped the Tigers 8-6. Mets over the Nationals 5-2. Guardians shut out the White Sox 5-0. Royals edged the Twins 2-1. Rays ripped the Astros 8-2. Cardinals blanked the Cubs 3-0. Rockies uh, shut out the Athletics 2-0. Giants edged the Red Sox 4-3 in 11 innings. It was the Reds beating up on the Dodgers 9-0. Mariners over the Diamondbacks 4-0. And the Orioles, uh, they uh, embarrassed the Yankees 9-3. So the trade deadline coming up. The Angels moved. They bolstered uh, their lineup. They picked up... Um, Randall Gritchick and C.J. Cron from the Rockies cost them a couple of minor leaguers. Also, the Rangers, uh, well, uh, they've added an arm um, a day after getting Max Scherzer from the Mets. Uh, the Rangers, uh, well, they uh, picked up a bullpen arm in trade action yesterday. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all of your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in healthcare and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations at Calexico and Raleigh, and of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all Pioneer services, visit www.pmhd.org today. And that's it for Sports Time. Sports Time brought to you this morning by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to pmhd.org for more information about Pioneers. Thank you for choosing Imperial Printers Rocket Copy. In today's highly competitive business climate, your company's image is important. The printed materials your company uses conveys a major part of that image. Our graphic designers have the talent and expertise to create a lasting impression for your business. Imperial Printers Rocket Copy offers virtually any type of business solution to meet your needs. From business cards and stationery to computer forms, full color brochures and posters. Let our excellent service and attention to detail provide the best impression for you. Locally owned and operated, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy has locations near you at 430 West Main Street and 100 South 11th Street in El Centro and 184 South Plaza in Brawley. And uh, let's take a look at financial news. A brief look at the weather brought to you by Southwest Security, a locally owned company protecting you and your property. Southwest Security also offering live scan fingerprinting to the public. 
Yellow Corporation, a 99-year-old trucking company that was once a dominant player in its field, halted operations yesterday and will lay off all 30,000 workers. The unionized company has been in a battle with the Teamsters Union, which represents about 22,000 drivers and dock workers. Just a week ago, the union canceled a threatened strike that had been prompted by the company failing to contribute to its pension and health insurance plans. The union granted the company an extra month to make the required payments, but by midweek last week, the company had stopped picking up freight from its customers and was making deliveries only of freight already in its system. The euro area economy is growing again, but may struggle to maintain the momentum for the rest of the year. Gross domestic product across the 20 countries that share the euro currency rose by three tenths of a percent in the second quarter compared with the previous three months, according to an official estimate. GDP had fallen by a tenth of a percent in the last three months of 2022 and stagnated in the first quarter of this year. Wall Street showing green right now. Not a lot, but it's still green. The Dow up 50 points at 35,509. The S&P 500 up six at 45,88. The NASDAQ up 28 points at 14,344. Gold up $4.30 an ounce and oil up 81 cents a barrel. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. Two years ago, I opened Southwest Postal, offering you 24-hour access, 365 days a year. So if you're tired of dealing with the inconvenience of our post office hours, and you would like to be able to get your mail when you want, Saturdays, Sundays, holidays, in the middle of the night, then come visit us at Southwest Postal with 24-hour staff. Plus, we're also your local FedEx, DHL, and Postal Service Center. We even offer text message and email notification when you receive your mail. Southwest Postal at the corner of 4th and Hile in El Centro. It will be mostly cloudy today with a high near 105, but heat index values as high as 110. There are showers and thunderstorms likely mainly before 3 p.m. South winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Winds could gust as high as 25 miles an hour. The chance of precipitation, about 60%. New rainfall amounts of less than a tenth of an inch expected except higher amounts possible in thunderstorms. Tonight, partly cloudy with a low around 85. West-southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming east-southeast after midnight. A 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms, mainly before midnight. Tuesday, a slight chance of showers, then showers likely and possibly a thunderstorm afternoon. Look for partly sunny skies with a high near 106. South wind about 10 miles an hour becoming northwest in the afternoon. A 60% chance of precipitation. Again, new rainfall amounts of less than a tenth of an inch, except higher amounts possible in thunderstorms. 85 degrees, 55% relative humidity. Wind out of the south-southeast at 3 to 5 miles an hour. Financial news and the weather brought to you by Southwest Security Services, offering 24-hour day post office boxes. You'll find them at Southwest Postal at the corner of 4th and Heil in El Centro. CBS News coming up. Uh, we'll keep you informed what's going on around the world. Of course, we keep you informed what's going on around the neighborhood as well as uh, AM 1230 live and local. The best oldies on the radio. KXO El Centro on AM 1230. KXO. This is CBS News on the Hour, presented by Indeed.com. I'm Steve Kathan. Life in prison without parole is the possible sentence an Idaho woman faces in a court session getting underway now. Lori Vallow Daybell was convicted of killing her two youngest children, J.J. and Tylee, and conspiring to kill a romantic rival. CBS's Jonathan Vigliotti. Among the three family members expected to give victim impact statements in court, Kay Woodcock, the grandmother of J.J. Vallow. Colby Ryan, Vallow Daybell's only surviving child, will also give a statement. And Summer Shiflett, Vallow Daybell's sister, whose jailhouse call sent chills throughout the courtroom. There's nothing okay about killing children. Tennille Brown is a law professor at the University of Utah. I don't think that the victim impact statements are probably going to change the sentencing too much. 
In Georgia, the judge presiding over a grand jury investigation into former President Trump has rejected his bid to disqualify the prosecutor and block any possible indictments. Court appearance today for Carlos de Oliveira, a Mar-a-Lago employee now facing charges in the Trump classified documents case. CBS's Scott McFarland. According to the superseding indictment, among other things, de Oliveira, along with Trump and Trump's aide Walt Nada, attempted to delete security video that potentially showed the movement of boxes and classified records. On the weather map today, CBS News meteorologist David Parkinson says attention is focused on the south. We'll be getting to 107 degrees in Dallas today. Feels like temperatures even hotter than that. Austin will get to 106. Houston to 103. Baton Rouge to 103. They'll break their old record by a whole three degrees there. And New Orleans perhaps topping out of the triple digits with swamp-like humidity. And after 31 straight days at 110 or higher, Phoenix is expected to top out at 106 today. Ukraine reports four people, including a 10-year-old child, were killed in the latest Russian missile attack. CBS's Rami Innocencio. Today's attack on Krivi Reed, just a couple hours' drive west of where we are here in Zaporizhia, is personal for President Vladimir Zelensky. That's because it is his hometown, and it could be seen as retaliation for Sunday's drone attack on Moscow. Dutch scientists working with an electric race car have unveiled a new battery that recharges fast and has a range of 155 miles. Heike Van and Heesha's firm sponsored that study. We presented a battery pack that can charge in four minutes, and to be precise, it can charge in three minutes and 56 seconds. And therefore, we've presented the fastest charging electric race car in the world. Coolant plates keep the battery from overheating during fast charging. Checking Wall Street, right now the Dow is up 45 points. This is CBS News. If you need to hire, you need Indeed. Their end-to-end hiring system helps you attract, interview, and hire candidates all in the same place. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. Now. Now your ideas don't have to wait. Now they have everything they need to come to life. Dell Technologies and Intel are creating technology that loves ideas, loves expanding your business, evolving your passions. We push what technology can do. So great ideas can happen right now. Find out how to bring your ideas to life at Dell.com. Welcome to now. If this were a Reese's TV ad, you'd be staring at a Reese's peanut butter cup. And sure, my voice is peanut buttery smooth, but still, you need to see the peanut butter cups, right? No? I can really just say Reese's and you'll go get some? <laughs> okay. Reese's. 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 Really working, actually. Reese's. Reese's. This, I'm on to something. Reese's. 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 It's a tough fight in Europe in a nation torn by heat and fire. Firefighters in Greece are scrambling to battle the blaze as the winds are set to pick up again. Several Greek islands have suffered two weeks of sweltering heat and wildfires, forcing locals and tourists to evacuate in their thousands. More than 120,000 acres of forest and vegetation have been left scorched, leading to concern for Greece's ecosystem. The Greek government blames climate change for the rapidly spreading fires, but it has come under criticism for not being prepared after heat waves in recent summers. Elaine Cobb, CBS News. President Biden goes to Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah next week. He's expected to talk about administration efforts to combat climate change as the region endures a brutally hot summer with soaring temperatures. Mr. Biden expected to discuss the Inflation Reduction Act and push toward more clean energy. I'm Steve Kathan. CBS News. My name is Sarah Griffin, and I'm the executive director of the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Food has the power to fuel communities, especially for those struggling to find their next meal. As a monthly donor, you can help the Imperial Valley Food Bank purchase food in bulk to meet the growing needs of the more than 25,000 people we serve each month at over 30 locations. Even small monthly gifts can go a long way in helping fight against hunger and food insecurity in the Imperial Valley. Please consider giving monthly by donating online at www.ivfoodbank.org. And CBS News brought to you this morning by the Imperial Valley Food Bank, fighting hunger in Imperial Valley since 1991. Who's the hot show around here? Carol Buckley. Hi, am. Who are you? Carol Buckley. You broadcast me out on the radio. 